Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're doing the advent of code 2023, day 13, point of incidents. Um, basically, our input's going to look like this. It'll be a series of grids um, separated by double new line or empty line. And for each grid, I need to find a reflection line. It's not clear to me from the description. It's a little bit vague if I need um, exactly one inflection line or if there could be multiple within the same one. Um, but there can be, we can we have to look horizontally and vertically. So they get, in the example, they give us um, this one right here. So between five and six, uh, we see, you know, the, the thing evenly reflects, the whole thing evenly reflects across that. Um, here between four, uh, rows four and five, they reflect. Um, and basically what we need to do is add up the number, look up, look for each reflection in each grid and get, you know, add up the number of columns to the left so in this case, like I would add, oh, sorry, not this one. In this case, I would add uh, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five columns reflect to the left. And the number of rows, so in this case, like one, two, three, four, um, except times 100. So in the example I have above, it'd be 405. Um, and they want me to do the same thing. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to VS Code. Uh, I'll use my Gen Day script here. Um, you can go to the repo in the notes if you want to check out script, but it pulls the input for me and uh, gives me the stub to work with. Let's also, before I forget, grab example.txt. We'll do dx.txt. And uh, let's check out the input. Um, one thing that jumps off the bat right away, uh, jumps off the bat, that I noticed right off the bat is um, not they're not all the same height or length, but that, that shouldn't matter. Um, but they are all squares. Like there's no, like there's no uh, l short lines or anything. Um, a fair number of them. Um, so over you know 1300, 1300 lines to process, but nothing nothing too big. Um, all right. So we're gonna do. Let's see. We're gonna do f. We're gonna call this. Uh, let's see. What if we do? Let's. Uh, or block in f dot read dot split new line new line. So we'll have each block. Uh, what are we going to do for each block? Um, maybe we should just save each block as a block. Um, but let's make uh, each. So we're going to take uh, for each block. What is, is it going to be? Yeah, I guess we'll just we can say uh, block. Do that. We don't need a loop. We'll say blocks equals that. Um, so now we have our blocks. And so if I come here and say blocks sub zero, we can make sure that looks good. Python, Python, uh, Python day thirteen example. Um, we got blocks of zero. Sweet. Um, and we're okay with leaving that as just a. Um, I guess that's technically a. So that's what we really want to do is split this into lines. Um, so, well, we can do that. We're going to write a function, right? So what we're going to do, we'll say for, uh, part one equals zero for block in blocks. Uh, we're going to, we'll, we're going to say, we're going to have a function up here that says def find mirror. We'll do that. Uh, find mirror on a block. And we will turn zero for now because we're going back to that. So now we can say for block and block, part one plus equals uh, find mirror on block. So we're going to have to have this. Has, this is going to have to handle the splitting of the blocks. That's fine. Um, or we could even do dot split. Nah, let's 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 handle that there. Um, now what we want to do is we're going to write a function that is going to search rows. To find the row, um, because that's easy. Because we 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 can just loop over the the we can split on new line and loop over that, right? Um, if we do that, um, we then want to also check for columns. So rows, if we if we find this one right here, we'll find a row. Um, let's see, and the row is this one. Uh, number of rows uh, times one hundred. Okay, so we need times one hundred there. We can also do part one plus equals find mirror. And I showed this um, a couple days ago, but 
if we do zip star block, oh, we are going to have to split it to do this. So that's good. Um, let's do that. Let's say uh, block equals block dot split from that. Maybe we'll do split lines. Um, and now we can do zip block, zip star block. And what that effectively is going to do is it's going to take the columns and it's going to give us the columns. So now we can find the row that has a mirror, but once we've and once we flipped it, once we've sort of flipped columns to rows, that effectively is going to give us the column. And so now we can use the same function, uh, just times 100 versus with zip block to uh, give us here. I, I'm slightly worried about new lines here. I'm going to, I'm going to want to check that. In fact, let's, let's just run that right now. Uh, if I hit F5 here, I've set this up so I can debug in VS Code. Um, I've got a video showing that. Um, you can go back a few in this playlist if you want to try to find it. Um, so let's see. Block is that. Um, that actually looks good. I don't have any new lines. It's perfect. Um, so great. I don't have to worry about that at all. All right. Perfect. Uh, we'll stop there. And we're really done, other than we have to write this find mirror function. So how are we going to find a mirror? Well, we're going to say uh, for uh, i in range len block. So we're going to, for the, for the length of the block, um, and we don't want to start at zero, because we start at zero, that'll be between nothing, and that's not use, a useful check for us. So we'll say uh, one range block. We're going to split the block into two, um, an above and a below. We can say above equals block uh, up to i, and below equals block i like that. And so now we should get the above half and the below half. Um, and uh, we want to compare the rows, and if they're all equal, return the row number. So we'll say uh, for uh, above row, below row, in zip above below, uh, if Now we need to compare each one in there. I think we, I wonder if we can just do AR equals BR. Let's try that. AR equals BR. Re return I. So basically, we're we're gonna go through. We're gonna step through each division. I is gonna be like our our mirror point, and we'll split the thing up. Um, oh wait, but we we not we've not split it up right now. So right now, um, let's pause right here. We need to. We we've got one mistake so far. Uh, let's F five to run to this point. We don't need you anymore. Play. Uh, so we come here and we do uh, block uh, above, below. Um, this one actually doesn't matter so much because we we can see we're comparing it just fine. Um, let me go. Let's go to the next one. So now we ran. Oh, I put a break on a for loop. That's bad. Uh, let's put the break here, and then we can step and come back to debug. If I do above above now and below. What I want to compare is this top one to this one, and then this one to this one. And so what I need to do, um, and let's, we can go a couple more forward. Is that right? Wrong spot. Um, let's see. We'll go forward a couple more times. Oop. Um, maybe we won't go forward a couple more times. Uh, zip has no length. What the heck does that mean? Let's see. Um, so we run here, run here again, run here one more time, and now let's come here, step over this, and come here and do above, below. And so what we really want to compare is these, this one, this one, this one. So if we just flip the order of the above, we'll be fine. We'll get what we need. Um, so if we do this, we can do like that, and that's a re that's how you reverse the order of above. And I think this should be fine. Um, if we get to the end and we never found anything of use, uh, we can just return zero, so that's zero would always work. Um, and that will maybe solve it for us. So let's run it and see. Oh, we hit an error. Okay. Uh, zip order object of type zip has no length. Where am I zipping? Oh, I probably need to, um, probably when I get here, I need to do list. Um, zip makes like a zip generator object. And if I just turn it back to a list, I'll be fine there. Um, 708 does not feel right. Uh, 405 is what we were looking for. 
So let's see. That means we found row seven. Um, I guess we should let's let's do this. We will uh, print part one. Print part one. So now we should have four prints because our block there's two blocks. All right. So the first time we find we find th we find a. Th 300 in the first one, and then a five in the second one. Let's see. Um, three, that is correct for the 300. The five is, I don't think correct. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so here. Well, is it? That one's ignored, that one's. Um, maybe I'm only supposed to take, let's see. This is, it looks very close. Those two match. Zero, there, 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 there. That matches. One, two, three hundred three. No, this one doesn't. So one, two, oh, one, two, three. Yeah, that matches. And then this one's blank, blank, two, two, blank, blank. So this does have a vertical. Um, but that doesn't get counted. Exactly. No, pause for a second while I read this again. Okay, I see. And this one actually the the I was being too quick. The horizontal line is wrong. We should not find a horizontal line there. Um so we should only find the vertical line at five. So that's why we should find a five from the first one, right? Yeah, okay, so we should, let's go back here. We found this three that is erroneous. Um, let's go back here and take a look. Run right to there. And we are about to, oh, let's see, can we, Return three. So let's look at above, below. Those match, those match, those do not match. So AR, oh, I'm looking for any match. <laughs> that's no good. Um, okay, that's a dumb mistake. I'm just, so like, I'm just checking if, the, if any of these things match, it'll return, that's terrible. Um, okay, so we need to do something different here. Um, let's see. If all AR equals BR for AR, BR, in zip below that, how about that should work a lot better? That is, that is definitely better. Four or five. There we go. Um, let's get rid of those prints because we don't need those and we're about to run the thing. Uh, terminal, let's exit the debug one. Uh, we got an answer. Ooh, that took uh, longer than it should have. That was not that hard, and we just made a stupid mistake. Um, all right, I'm going to pause and read this. Okay, uh, in part two, it's not actually a perfect match. There's, I need to find the match that has exactly the mirror where exactly one thing is wrong. Um, so, I don't think that'd be, that's not too bad. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to update our function, and we're going to put... Uh, diffs equals zero and we're going to say uh bool uh not oh no, we're gonna say uh not ar equals b let's see what are we gonna say we're gonna say what we want to do is we want to we're gonna sum this up so we're gonna try to make this into a um we're gonna say this sum is equal to diff. And so now, diffs. So now we need to make this, instead of just being an equality, we want this to be, if they're equal, it's a zero. Um, otherwise, it's a one. I mean, so we guess we could just say that. Um, it just looks going to get kind of long. Um, zero if else one. I do it like that. Um, so now, if the row is equal, oh, I don't, but I need to do it over every, every uh, instance. So, what I really need to do for AR equals BR is over here, uh, a sum, and we're gonna put, uh, oh, XY for X, XY in zip AR BR. We're gonna zip those rows together. We're gonna loop over them. And we're gonna say X, oh, I guess we can call them A and B. That'd be easier. A equals B, one if, 
sorry, zero if a equals b else one for a comma b in above row and below row. So this is a long row, but let's, let's we'll break it down. I think it's going to work. For each row in the above and below, we're going to compare the rows. We're going to then take the rows and zip together the items, and that just means compare them one at a time. And if they're equal, it's going to be zero. Otherwise, they're going to be one. And if the, then we're going to sum all those up for both loops. And if it equals the number of diffs, we're going to return i. So in this case, I think um, my goal here was I should be able to run. Yeah. So I'm still getting the exact same part one. So now for part two, all we need to do is the same loop again. Um, we really we could write that in a function too, but I think this will be okay. Just to this is short enough that we can do a little copying and pasting. I might clean it up before I put it in the repo. Um, we just need to do this call diffs equals one and find mirror diffs equals one. Let's see. In the example, we go to 400. Oh, I don't know if that doesn't sound good. Oh, no, it does sound good. 400. Um, sweet. Uh, we get a number. Bam. Um, not really not too hard. Um, took me probably longer than it should have, but, uh, that, that's a neat challenge. Have some fun. So, uh, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you tomorrow.